Today I'm going to talk about accommodative dysfunction. So there's two or three different versions of accommodative dysfunction, so I'll break down all of those today so that you kind of have a good understanding of everything. But first, let me explain what accommodation actually is. So accommodation just means focusing. So it's the word that we use in optometry to explain when we look at something up close, we have these muscles in our eyes that have to flex so that they can focus and see things clearly. And then those same muscles relax so that you can see far away again. So they're constantly going from far to near, from near to far. And some children can have what we call accommodative infacility, where their focusing muscles are not very flexible, so that when they look at something up close, it takes a minute for them to readjust. And then when they look at something far away, it takes a minute for those muscles to readjust. And so they'll always feel like things are blurry. And sometimes parents will come in and they think their kids need glasses because they're complaining about blurry vision. But really, they probably see 2020 on the chart. It just takes them a second to focus. And so a lot of times we put people in glasses or, or contacts that help them focus a little bit easier so that those muscles don't have to work as hard so that they're able to see clearly. And a lot of times parents come in and we say, your child needs reading glasses, but their vision's blurry far away. That's always something that's really hard to explain. Now this can also be fixed with vision therapy, and this is the, the number one choice if we can fix, fix people with that, but sometimes we have to use glasses as a crutch temporarily. Another issue of accommodation is accommodative excess, which means that the focusing muscles are working too hard. And so they're focused and zoomed in so much up close that when they look far away, everything is blurry and it never gets clear. But everything up close is super clear. And then you have accommodative insufficiency, which is the opposite of excess. So they can see okay far away, but as soon as they look at something up close, everything is really blurry and it never gets clear unless they hold it out a little bit further. Sometimes people can have accommodative issues in one eye as a result of an injury or a concussion, and they can have different types of accommodative issues after they've had an injury. So this is something that we look for in anybody that, that has had any kind of concussion or anything like that. Even adults, I've seen adults that have had a series of concussions throughout their whole life that this starts to affect them. Now, just to, an aside here, presbyopia is where the muscles in the eye are not as flexible as we get a little bit older. So I'm 41. I'm starting to develop a little bit of presbyopia. I'm talking about for children, their eye muscles, their flexible, their muscles should be really flexible and strong. But with an adult, that's a whole different conversation we can talk about later. But if you see this in your child and you suspect something's going on, bring them in and mention it to me and we will be glad to talk about it a little bit more. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email at the, the link I have below there. And thanks for watching.